Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. What about that unicorn, the one who attacked Canterlot? Tempest, I invited her to come to Ponyville, but she wanted to spread the word of the Storm King's defeat and share what she learned about friendship. I'd love to see an episode where Tempest is spreading the word of friendship and someone asks what exactly she learned and she just stops dead in her tracks and realizes that she didn't learn squat, just that Twilight's a sucker. Friendship quest beyond Equestria? I hope not. I've had quite enough life-threatening adventures, thank you very much. But the show needs to focus more on the world and- Fuck off, fuck off, your ideas are shit, you ruin everything you touch. We need help if we're gonna teach them all about friendship. Lots of help. Perhaps, but where does one go to learn about friendship? Here. They can all go here. Because we're gonna open a school. A school? Who's gonna teach? Your friends all have demanding careers and your only real student is a colossal failure. Do you even have a teacher's license? Can you teach a nebulous concept like friendship? I just have a few questions. What time should school start each day? 9.30 a.m. So what's the ideal length for class? 60 minutes. Do you test regularly? Quizzes once a month with a final test at the end of every individual course. So what about class projects? You can take them or leave them. They ultimately have little effect on the outcome of a class. Are assigned seating, open seating, or is that too unstructured? Seating in a classroom has no effect on the quality of the education. There's a big difference between attending a school and running one. It's not like there's a rule book to follow. Yeah, there is. It's called a federally mandated education standard. Hello. My name is- Princess Twilight Sparkle. I am Chancellor Naysay. Equestria owes you a great debt. But princess or no, we expect you to do things by the book. Can we trust you to follow through with this plan? Or will you leave the school unattended to gallop off on your adventures? My journey beyond Equestria showed me first hoof that the threats out there are greater than we imagined. And that you can be trusted to do absolutely nothing about them and letting terrorists off scot-free to sate your ego. EEA concurs. Every pony should be prepared to defend our way of life. So, if your work is in order, provisional. EEA approval is granted. Okay, I can't let the elephant in the room go unacknowledged. Why is the Equestrian Board of Education being framed like a shadowy death cult? Please tell me that in addition to teaching children to forgive unconditionally without atonement, Megan McCarthy is not about to yammer on about how government oversight of critical infrastructure is bad. Don't teach kids to privatize education, Megan. Um, hello there. I'm your teacher. I hope you enjoy class, but if you don't enjoy it, that's okay too. Oh great, Twilight drafted her friends in away from their actual careers to be untrained educators. What other great ideas do you have, Twily? And I need you all to do this by the book. That means no cannons in class, Pinky. Aww, not even a teeny cannon! Pinky, you can't have weaponry in a school. What do you think this is, the United States? Welcome to the School of Friendship. I'm your head mayor, Twilight Sparkle. Please follow Guidance Counselor Starlight to sign in and get your class assignments. Hold the phone, did you just say Guidance Counselor Starlight? No, this is where I draw the line. This is blatant nepotism and advancement of your latest fuck buddy. School's canceled, everybody. Time to go home. Whoa, sorry. I'm Sandbar. Are you a student here too? No, I just figured I'd randomly stand here and see how many ponies would walk into me. Okay, I like you. You can stay. Yeah, can't wait to meet ponies! And tell all about Yak Yaki Stan! Okay, you're at a 10 and you need to pull back to about a 2. The dragons are better than this. Why am I here? Because, as Dragon Lord, I'm ordering you to be here! That's right, you're gonna go to school and you're gonna like it, young man. Lady, non-binary dragon. Okay, we're gonna put a pin in that and come back to it later. I would like to introduce the Queen's niece, Silverstream. This place is amazing! <laughs> I've spent most of my life in a coral reef underwater. I was a sea pony, but now I'm a hippogriff. Long story. Anyway, wow! Is that a yak? Great, we're now at a 50% success rate for hippogriffs named Silver. Thank you so much. 
much for supporting the grand opening of our school. Life is so grand in our school. We're all best friends here. And we will hammer this bad lesson right into your ear. Can't mess up, can't afford a mistake now. We are shaping young minds to ignite. Do it like it says in the book. Now make sure you're doing it right. I cannot abide a bad teacher. Can't teach being honest, not sure what to do. I'm quite certain I'm lost. None of us has a clue. You mean you can't boil a social construct down to an exact science? I'm shocked. Shocked! Well, not that shocked. Is this what boring is? Am I bored? Ugh, please. These ponies are the heroes of Equestria? Listen, these ponies saved all of us from the Storm King. How? By boring him into surrender? No, they killed him and shattered his corpse into a thousand tiny pieces. You should probably be getting friendship lessons from the Sith. What do we do with her? Execution, I expect. It's what Valen would do. It's what I would do. And it's exactly what you deserve. My little pony, my little pony, what is friendship all about? Is there anything in Yak Yakistan that isn't the best? Yes! Wait. No! Yak's best. No claws, no wings, no fire. What is it exactly you're proud of? All right, listen here, you little Undertale protagonist. God damn it, this is a schmull gay witch babu all over again. I just can't believe it. Fights breaking out when they're supposed to be learning friendship? Things definitely aren't going as by the book as Twilight planned. That's because we're terrible teachers! Oh, come on, it's been two weeks. Starlet's been a student of friendship for two and a half years, and she's still terrible at it. Well, here's a friendship lesson for you. Don't cast spells on your friends! You're not skipping, are you? That's exactly what we're doing. But friends and family day is after class. Relax, this is just a quick... Mental health break. Didn't you hear Princess Twilight? The secret to good mental health is to just decide to get over your issues and do literally nothing else. Just look at Princess Luna cowering in the corner and the Luna. Luna, no. Luna. Luna, you put that knife down. Put that knife down and bottle your pain. Griff is just full of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> and yaks are actually good at jokes. How about that? My little pony, friendship is casual racism. What is that? Oh no, if only two of you had freaking laser beams attached to your heads. Oh wait. My school teaches for all of us to work together through friendship. And how do you know these creatures won't take what they have learned here and use it against us? Are we really worried that the other nations of the world might become complacent and apathetic? When she hears you close the school because- Because you failed to meet the EEA standards? What? Irresponsible teachers, students skipping class, endangering ponies. Your school is a disaster. I mean, he's not wrong. You did make your worst student a guidance counselor. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, but not everything can be fixed with dresses and cupcakes. What? She said not everything can be fixed with dresses and cupcakes. Oh, I wondered how long you'd take to get tired of pillow fort pouting. Every pony's already tried to cheer me up. It won't work. Oh, Twilight, you underestimate the power of authorial contrivances to prop up a creator's favorite character. I'm gonna tell you what you did wrong. What? You gave up too easily. Hey, you made me a guidance counselor. That means tough love. That's not tough love. You just stated the obvious plot contrivance that only exists so that the writers can position you as a voice of reason. I just called it that this was about to happen. I failed. The school was a disaster. So was I when you met me. Ha, <laughs> was. Oh wait, you were serious. I can't go against the EEA. They're in charge of all the schools in Equestria. And you're in charge of all the friendship in Equestria. You can't be in charge of friendship, Starlight. What even is that line? But the EEA rulebook doesn't matter. You can write your own rules because you are doing something new, something important. Can I just sit here and point out the irony of Starlight encouraging Twilight to enforce her will regardless of the objection of others? Life is so grand in our school! Can, uh, can we just focus on finding our lost students? Nice try! You grubs are probably hiding a whole lot of them! 
please, every creature. Stop calling them creatures. It sounds like a racial slur. They claim they ran away to stay together. I can't believe it. They did learn friendship. Congratulations, Twilight. Your students learned something that they would have learned passively in every other school ever. We need to think like our students. If someone told us we would never see each other again, what would we do? Go someplace we could all hang out and eat lots and lots of cupcakes. What? Sambar was friends with all of the missing students. Andy just got plenty of cupcakes. Huh. He was at the farm this morning picking up a wagon load of apples. And I saw him in a shop buying pillows and blankets. Huh. Turns out that Pinky is the brains of this operation. Pun intended? What pun? I wish the other changings could meet you all. They're not nearly as strange as the story say. Gee, thanks. But yeah, hanging out with other creatures is actually uh, not bad. Hey, it turns out that our racist parents are, in fact, really stupid. Who would have thought? Wouldn't class have been about how to make friends with them? Uh, guys, they're getting really close. Yona not scared! Yona have friends! My Little Pony, friendship is back up in a scrape. And without the EEA, it'll be much friendlier. Plus, all your nations won't go to war if you come back with us! Bonus! Wait. What's happening? Twilight's subverting the law because she's an autocrat and she can do that. Yeah, does understand this pony joke. No, we're going back to school. How? You can't even get inside. School is back in session. Oh yeah, that's right. It's unicorn magic and Twilight's a fucking demigod. Classes won't start at all. The EEA has spoken and none shall pass. This is for the greater good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now every single hack fuck in the analysis community is going to review this episode and play that stupid fucking meme clip to make the phrase greater good sound sinister for the 500th time and oh my fucking god, why are you all such fucking re- <laughs> And those dangerous and unpredictable students put ponies' lives in danger. Hell, I'll show you unpredictable. Hey, Celestia, do something! I promise you, Chancellor, my school will help protect Equestria. Or destroy it! Hi, I'm a government official, and I'm just going to storm off with no tangible objection. Huh. So long as Twilight has a sudden shift of personality designed specifically to artificially prop up your usefulness, you nakedly obvious creator's pet. Uh -huh.